Get ready. Shake out those arms. All right, so get ready. We got negative push-ups, 12 exercises, 30 seconds of work. Start on your toes and lower. Two, three, pause. Two, three, and up. Down. Two, three, and pause. Two, three, and up. Down. Two, three, and pause. Two, three, and up. One, two, come on. Three, and hold to the buzzer. Oh, yeah, baby, get on those knees. Get ready. We're going to go standard push ups. And if you're already tired after that first round, feel free to go on your knees. But we got a standard push up. Here we go. And up. One. There you go. Now work at your own pace. Keep going. That's it. Let's burn it out. Great work. That's it. Keep going. All right, everybody at home, keep going. We got 15 seconds. We are halfway there. Let's go. Right to the floor. You got this. Let's go. 10 seconds. Come on now. Let's finish. Let's finish. Let's finish. Five seconds. Come on. We got a nice break coming. Oh. Woo! We got V sit up. So, everybody, we're giving our chest a break. We're laying on our back. And we're getting all the way up onto those toes. Here we go. That's it. Now, feel that length. Feel that length all through your core. Stretch out those feet. Stretch out those fingers. Here we go. Work to those abdominal walls. That's it. All the way up. Here we go. We got 13 seconds left, everybody. You got a little bit more in you. Let's dig a little bit deeper. Seven seconds. Here we go. Come on. Get up. Woo! All right. Push up position. Feel free to go on your knees. We're going to go down with two. And then you're going to push up with one. Now, up. Here we go. That's it. That's it. It's on your toes. If you can do these on your toes, that's quite impressive. There you go. That's it. 20 seconds. There you go. You want to feel that right into what's called your serratus anterior. So you're going to build that sexy muscle just above the abs, just below the pec line. Drive it up. Here we go. Extend up. Four seconds. You're almost done. You got one more in your Time. Woo. Shake it out. Shake it out. Get those arms nice and loose. Next up, start on your stomach. Elbows at your side. And you're going. Driving straight up. I want to see those fingertips right next to your body. Here we go. Elbows tucked right in. And up. There you go. And if you're already fatigued, that's okay to go on the knees. Your goal is to get 10 reps. Just get 10 super concentrated reps. When you come up, flex into those triceps. We got 10 more seconds. Come on now. That's it. Let it out. Five seconds. Come on. Let's get that pump. One more. Oh. Shake it out. Shake it out. Shake out those arms. All right, we're laying on our backs again. We're going to work the front side. So, thumbs hit the floor. Heels on the ground. Up. Do a suitcase. Get up there and touch those toes. Great work. That's it. Really open it up. There you go. That's it. 20 seconds. There you go. Drive those knees in. Suck the belly button in. Keep the knees bent the entire time. Try to keep that low back flat on the floor. You got 10 seconds left. Let's go. Five seconds. Keep going. Get more reps. One more. Ah. All right, everybody. Up onto your feet. Up onto your feet. All right. Two options. Number one, you can walk down, push up, walk back up, tuck jump. If you want to walk out, go onto your knees, do that push up, walk back up, stand up, and squat. All right, I'm going to do the modified version with you. Walk all the way down, knees down, push up, walk back up, sit your butt up, and a full squat. Otherwise, if you want to get that full burn, you're working out with Neri. Drive it up. Get the knees up. Come on. Keep going. We got one more in us. Let's go. There you go. All right, everybody on the floor. On the floor. Chest down. 
fingertips outwards. And we're doing a Y push up. Y push up. There you go. Now you can choose to go on your knees or you can get up onto your toes. Back flat. Y push up. Y push up. That's it. Keep going. Take it down. We're halfway there. The thing I love about this push up is it really isolates you from the chest muscle. 10 seconds. Let's go. Come on, you got a nice ab break after this. We got five seconds. Let's get a couple more in us. Ta. Woo! You're killing it. Great work. All right, we're on our back. We got a V sit up. One of my favorite exercises. V sit up. And then we're going into a full sit up. There you go. V sit up. Full sit up. Here we go. That's it. Full sit up. He sit up. Full sit up. He sit up. Full sit up. There we go. Ten seconds, everybody. We got this. Come on now. Let's earn it. Let's earn it. Let's burn it. Let's earn it. Nice. All right. We're on our stomachs, guys. We're on our stomachs. We got a Superman twist, 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 twist. Twenty seconds, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Twist, 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 twist. Ten seconds. Come on. Let's go. Let's finish strong. This is a nice break. We got two more upper bodies after this. Earn that break. Nice. All right. Let's get you up on your knees. Shake it out. Loosen up the pack. Get the blood out of there. We're going into a sexy push up. So imagine there's a bar and you got to get under that bar or that fence. Drive those hips in. Push yourself back. You can do this on your knees as well. Same idea. Get underneath. Come up. Stand up. Chaturanga. Push your body back. Get in there. Up. Push your body back. There you go. Otherwise, on your toes. Up. Bring it back. Up. Bring it back. Here we go. There you go. Let's get one more in you. Come on. Nice. Great work. We got one more 30 seconds. And like I like to say, last set, best set. So here we go. Three, two, one. Last set. All right. Narrow. Diamond. Make a diamond. There you go. Get your elbows dropping all the way to the floor. Push up. There we go. That's it. Nice. 20 seconds. Come on now. Finish strong. The last one you got to do the day. Finish with your head held high. Don't worry about being able to scratch your own back or put your own pants on. <laughs> You're going to look sexy. That's all we want. Come on now. Five seconds. We got one more in us. One more. Time. Great work, everybody. Woo. That's your upper body blast tech day. Welcome to your five minute upper body and trunk rotation routine. You need a broomstick, a body bar, a hockey stick, a cross stick, whatever you got. We're going to start by rotating. Here we go. That's it. And rotate. We're going to do this for 30 seconds. Once you get to that end range, I want you to throw a little bit of a bounce in there. And if you can work on planting your feet so that your feet aren't rotating with you, then we're able to work a little bit more into that lower abdominal cavity, stretching out into that low back. We're also working into that upper body mobility. Great work. That's it. 10 more seconds. Keep going. There you go. Try and keep those legs straight. So we're working a little bit of rotation into the knees. All right. Back to center. Grab it as wide as possible, okay? What you're gonna do is you're just gonna press up, keeping that bar behind your head, and try and rest it as low on those shoulders as possible. Press back as high as possible, but also back on an angle, all right? So we're going up and pressing away. There you go, that's it. We're gonna do this for 30 more seconds. All right, we're working on that pec range of motion. We're also breaking up scar tissue all throughout those shoulders. There you go. The more you do this, the better you get, the more range of motion you got. So again, try and draw that weight or draw that bar 
away from your body. And when you come down, I want you pressing as low onto your shoulder blades as possible. There you go. Try it out. Try it out. Try it out. We're going to go for five more seconds, everybody. Let's go one more rep here. Down. Let's hold. Right there. Good. Now we're going to bring the elbows down. Okay. So you're going to come into a 90-90 position right here. You're going to rotate up and back. So now we're working into that rotator cuff. So keeping your elbows up nice and high. And we're working into range of motion. So bringing that bar all the way down to your chest in the front. And then rotating. Almost to the point where you can actually get backwards. All right. I'm not quite there yet. If you're there, congratulations. You have great shoulder health and mobility. But otherwise, from the chest, rotate up. There you go. Great work. Let's go. 15 more seconds. There you go. That's it. Looking good. Wow. All the way down. I like that. Great work. All right. Five more seconds. All right. Bring it down here. Shake it out. Hopefully you don't got no kinks in the neck. Good. Arm goes all the way up. We're going to go down to one side. Okay. Go as far as your body will let you stretch naturally. And then we're going to go through reps here. So every time you go down to one side, we're going to try to go a little bit further. There you go. That's it. Now, if you narrow your stance, you're going to feel that stretch all through the top of your glutes. There you go. That's it. Nice. There you go. Try to really put that body into an arch. Okay? Put that body into an arch. There you go. Pop that hip out. We're going to go for 15 more seconds. This is stretching meets working out. <laughs> 10 seconds. There you go. Nice. Good. Side to side. Five seconds. Let's get one more each side. Good. All right. So you're going to grab with the palm facing forward. Right palm, top of the broomstick. Other, other hand is going to go facing. Okay. So you have your right hand palm facing towards the front of me. The other palm facing the other way. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take your right hand and you're going to pull it across your shoulders. Okay. So you're going to pull down like you're pulling on a tugboat. Okay. And again, we're going to do this for reps. Reps. Okay, so do you see how my left arm is internally rotating? That's what we want. Good. Now, each time, try to yank it down a little bit more. But obviously, we don't want any pain. There you go. We're going to go for five more seconds. And we're going to hold this position in three, two, one. Good. Now, what you're going to do is with the other hand, you're going to cock it back. And you're going to actually pull it forward. To see how my right hand is getting... Keeping that same position, and you're just cocking it back like you're a pitcher. So you're winding up for a pitch. There you go. Now we're working that internal rotator. That's it. So you should feel that stretch through your right shoulder. Your left shoulder should be a little bit tense. There you go. Just keep cocking it back. There you go. That's it. And three, two, switch. All right. So left hand, palm faces forward. Other hand, this is my tight side. All right, so what we're gonna do, right hand facing outwards, and we're gonna get some reps here. We're gonna, we're gonna switch in 10 seconds. There you go, pull it down. There you go, get that rotator, feel that stretch. Great work. Seconds, two, one, good. Now we're gonna pull it this way. You can actually even flip your hand over, and all you're doing is just pulling it forward while the other arm gets cranked back. Good, so it's your top arm that should be cranked back. There you go. We're gonna work past the buzzer for 10 more seconds. There you go, feel that pull. Feel that pull. There you go. We're gonna go five seconds. Four, three, two, one. And that's it, everybody. That's your upper body mobility. You guys crushed it today. We're going to go Fit Fam on three. One, two, three. Fit Fam. Boosh.